evaluating other programs and gathering the impact of learning. The recommendations, implications and responses from the DBE. We still stand behind the statement that grade R is important in the schooling context, but especially because there are inequalities, but it requires attention. Um, it's always good to have international literature that gives us an idea and information about how a system is working, but it's always important to try and measure it in the South African context so that you are able to establish the supporting mechanisms that you need to get that benefit. So it, it hasn't been sufficient to just roll out um, grade R and have near universal access, but there's a quality issue. The, yeah, now that we've covered universal coverage, we need to focus on quality. In terms of dealing with quality, a key um, recommendation or key contributing factor to quality was identified as teacher training, quality and support. And in order to address this, the DBE has introduced NQF standards for grade A, grade R practitioners that's been discussed since last year, I think, but it's now in our MTSA for the next four years, next five years. There's also a important issue that came on school management, especially when we did the provincial comparison aspect. Um, school management should not just be an administrative function. The principal is not just a person who signs up on receipts and invoices. Principal is supposed to be able to give instructional content support to teachers because curriculum is the main purpose of schooling. And in order to address that, there's been a lot of discussion around basic standards and norms for district functionality. That's part of the support that schools receive. Um, and the minister has been meeting with district directors on a quarterly basis over the past two years to try and get to the detail of what their challenges are so that we can address them at that level they are because they are the first point of contact that schools get to before provinces and before the national department. There's also some work that the DPM is leading on concurrent functions and clarifying roles and responsibilities amongst provinces, the national districts and schools in a range of topics including curriculum, leadership, school management, finance, etc. So once you have the parameters clear and the responsibilities clear, it's, it's easier to hold people accountable rather than having a national system where <coughs> accountability is shared, which is a good thing, but where there needs to be, where there are not clear definitions of roles and responsibilities. In terms of practical, another aspect in terms of quality was practical curriculum guidelines and standards. From 2012, the DBE has been distributing a great R pizza box. Um, it has resources such as posters, um, teaching guides, storybooks, and I think workbooks as well that are distributed in public schools for grade R provisioning. We conducted a formative evaluation with the Australian Council of Educational Research on the pizza box last year um, to assess whether the materials were of appropriate quality for our context and our values as well as against international standards. And the finding was that they were with some recommendations on improvement. That has not been released as yet. Um, we're hoping to do that in the next two or three months, release that report publicly.